swelling around the left eye. It's worsened here. Of Lacey and a little blood, a little bleeding in that left eye of Lacey. We talked about it before the fight. Scar tissue over both eyes. Lacey has been cut in his last three fights. Mendoza backs him up. Right uppercut comes back. Lacey tries to come with his signature punch. Mendoza's been like a politician who's been taking state after state in a campaign. He's been taking yeah, round ball. after That's round. Your hands are free. It all started back in the sixth round with the right hand. And loads of confidence from Epi Mendoza. Good right uppercut. Right uppercut. Lacey comes back with a three punch combination. Lacey sends in a left hook. A little slow to leave the corner is Jeff Lacey. It's been a night of knockouts on Wednesday night fights. It started with Jose Armando Santa Cruz against Miguel Munguia. The near perfect body shot that scores the fifth round knockout. Then Danny Jacobs, the 21 year old prospect, moved his way to 8 0 with eight knockouts against Sergio Rios. We saw Carlos Vasquez stay perfect. He's now 8 0, getting rid of David Vasquez. There are moments in this fight where we thought things could end by way of knockout. Both men have been hurt. Sensational stuff between Mendoza and Jeff Lacey. Lacey came out with the right hands early, scoring well with right hands. Then in the second round, Mendoza found the mark, Teddy. Yes, he did. And it was with his trademark punch, the right hand, the looping right hand on the top of the head of Lacey. Middle rounds, Lacey comes back. Then the right hand from Mendoza in round six. Mendoza found that right uppercut, and he put it to terrific use, mixing it up with the right hand up top. And again, and now, you can see right there, Lacey hurt again from that looping right hand. Tenth and final round of our main event on Wednesday Night Fights. Teddy's scorecard. Epi Mendoza on top, 86-85. This would be a big upset. Again, the inside, a place that I thought Lacey should have a huge edge. He had that edge early, but has not really exploited it in the second half of the fight. Stop! Stop punching. Let each other go. Come on. Step back. Mendoza's well, smart there. He knows that it, he probably doesn't stand up well on the inside, except for that right uppercut. Doesn't stand up well on the inside with Lacey, so he ties him up. And now he gets distance, and now Mendoza has a chance to catch Lacey as he rumbles in. in clean for Mendoza again. Lacey tries to come back with a right hand upstairs. After this fight, win or lose, Lacey has to be mad at himself. And his corner is going to be upset at themselves that all night long, Mendoza was able to land that right uppercut on the inside, and Lacey made no adjustments to take it away. Been a long night for referee Jack Reese. He's had a lot to deal with. Again, on the inside here, a round that I think Lacey needs. He needs to do work in there and not get caught with that right uppercut. The one punch that Mendoza can threaten him with, threaten him with, and has threatened him with all night on the inside. Trying to wind up that left hook, then comes with a right hand after it does Lacey. Coming up on the last 30 seconds. There's danger as Lacey comes in now. See how hard Jeff Lacey can work. Mendoza doing a lot of grabbing inside. He needs to do some punching right now. 
on the outside. And he's not. Looks like Mendoza has faded stop, stop this final stop round. Come on, stop it. Stop with the ball. Very close fight. Give Lazy credit. He was tired, but he dug down. At least on my scorecard, found a way to win this last round. Very, very close fight. It's going to be interesting to see how it was scored. Both men were hurt. Both men had their moments. We will hear from the judges when we return to SoCal. Was the main event between Epifanio Mendoza and Jeff Lacey, the Just For Men hair color punch track fight recap. Lacey with a 172 to 165 connect advantage, but he was hurt in round two, in round six, in round eight. Meanwhile, Mendoza himself absorbed big power shots from Lacey. Teddy's scorecard, and keep in mind, Teddy scored the second round 10-8, was 95-95. It was a close, close fight. Which way did it go? To find out, we send it up to the ring to Lupe Contreras. Ladies and gentlemen, after 10 rounds of boxing from the Morongo Casino Resort and Spa, the official scorecard reads as follows. Dr. Lou Moret scores it. 95 to 95, a draw. Judge Marty Dinkin, 96 to 94. And Judge Jerry Cantu scores it, 97 to 93. For the winner, by way of majority decision, Jeff Lacey. What fight was Jerry Cantu watching? They had 97-93. But that 10th round, Teddy, on the scorecard of Marty Denkin, assuming he gave it to Lacey, which one would assume, that was a difference maker right there. A majority decision for Jeff Lacey, but give a lot of credit, give a lot of credit to Epi Mendoza. He made it a very entertaining night. And you have to wonder, that moment in the eighth round when Lacey was so hurt and he went out and tackled Mendoza, did that save the night for Jeff Lacey? We will ask him that when we come back. We're going to try to talk to Jeff Lacey. Stay with us. More Wednesday night fights from Southern California when we return. Decision win over Epifanio Mendoza. Back and forth action. Both men were hurt. A decision here that got mixed reaction from the crowd. Give me your assessment as to your victory tonight. Well, I felt like I did a marvelous job. I went out there and beat a guy for 10 rounds. I mean, he had a lot of opportunity in 10, tower, in 10 rounds, and he want to argue about after the, after the decision in the fight. He should have did what he had to do in the ring. Before Teddy, the opportunity to discuss the fight with you. Teddy? Hey, Jeff. Both of you were shaken up in that fight. Yeah. He, he had you hurt a couple times yeah. in that fight. Now, there was a moment in that fight that may have turned it around. A fighter does what he has to do to survive. Exactly. Very similar to what Diego Corrales did with Castillo. Exactly. When he spit the mouthpiece out to get a little extra time. Did you do that on purpose no, when you tackled him just to no. get a little extra time because you had been hurt? No, actually, if you go back and look at that fight, he actually, I'm going to give him the credit. He knocked the mouthpiece out of my mouth. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a warrior. I was in there for 10 rounds. He kept hitting me on the back of the head, hurting me, and, and I still stuck in there and, and did, my deliver, did my damage to him as well. I mean, he want to talk about the decision at the end. He had 10 rounds to finish me, and he couldn't do it. That, but that moment where you tackled him, were you consciously saying, you know what, I'm in a little trouble here, I need a little time, let me bring him down and get myself a little time to make a run later? Well, that's the experience in the ring, Teddy, you know that. I mean, you, you, you use so you're, everything so you can. So you're saying yes, that you thought about that and you did that? Of course, I mean, I, I've, I've, I mean, we was both coming forward and I was and I was losing my balance. Yeah, I mean, but it's, that's tactics in the ring. Yes. He still had a chance after I got up to put me in that same position, but he couldn't. You used your experience. And exactly. You're, and experience wins fights. Not only the, you know what I'm saying, not only the, the, the punches that you throw in there, experience win fights. Who You know that better than I do, Teddy. The experience right. paid off tonight. Congratulations, Jeff Lacey. The majority decision win over Epifanio Mendoza. We invite you to join us for Friday night.